Six days ago, it was actually on Monday that I told you that we got the zoysia in the ground last Sunday, and here we are Friday, six days ago, and we've got zoysia popping up in between. There's some more over there, starting to come up amongst the uh, hay that I laid down to keep everything wet. Fantastic, we'll have some zoysia. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the hay. Let's talk about your forecast as it starts to look and feel like summertime. Our afternoon highs are going to see the lower 90s. It's going to feel close to the mid 90s though when you factor in the humidity. That starts at the 95 corridor and continues inland for northeast Florida. The beaches, that's the place to be. That onshore flow will keep you a little bit cooler with mainly upper 80s along the sandy shores. That does include the Golden Isles, but once you move inland, that's where those 90s start to collect once again across southeast Georgia. It's that sea breeze that'll keep it fresh on the beach, but it's also going to give the inland folks a chance for some showers, about 20 to 30 percent. A better chance actually closer to I-75 versus that of 95. Our daytime highs, speaking of 95, 90s will continue here, uh, except for Monday. The models have backed off where we had 91 and then down to 90. It's looking like upper 80s. The chance for showers also coming down as we honor those that paid the ultimate sacrifice on Monday. That's your weather authority forecast. It's always just a click away at News for Jacks, just a shout away on your favorite devices. Have a great weekend.